Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy. And yeah, the 2023 NBA draft was tonight. Oh, sorry, is tonight. It's still going on right now. I think it's like near the end of the first round as I'm recording this video. And the Toronto Raptors drafted God slash wing Grady Dick with the 13th overall pick. Um, Yeah, so let's talk about it. I would have talked about it sooner, but, you know, I had to close tonight. So this is as early as I could have recorded this video. But yeah, Grady Dick is a 6'7", 6'8", God slash forward out of Kansas. Um, uh, He was regarded as the best shooter coming into the draft. I thought he was going to go a lot higher, at least from like mock drafts I've seen. Like I'm not a draft guy. I really don't know anything about most of these prospects except for like the top three. I just knew Grady Dick, one, had a funny last name, and two, was a really good shooter. And he fell to us because a lot of them, a lot of the mock drafts projected him to be, like, I think early on he was, like, a top 10 pick, and then he kind of, like, fell down. I saw, like, later on, like, a couple of days ago, he might have been, like, 11 to the Magic, I think, but whatever. Um, So... You know, we draft the best shooter in the um, draft class, which is a huge plus because, you know, the Raptors desperately need shooting. Um, I think a couple of days ago they came out and they said that like, they were going to draft best player available and not, like, for fit. So I was kind of just like, fuck, we're going to draft, like, another forward who can't shoot. But we accept... We, sorry, except We instead draft a guard slash forward who is pretty tall. Pretty big for his size, could space the floor incredibly. I think he shot like over forty percent from three on like almost six attempts a game in um uh, Kansas, which is pretty great. Um, he has some playmaking ability. I think he was more like a two guard at Kansas, but he has shown the ability to you know make plays for others. Um, really good as I said, shooting the ball from three, also on catch and shoots, and he has the ability to drive from everything i'm reading in these articles right next week because as i said i don't really know nothing about the guy um i think a lot of us wanted uh Hayson wallace is that his name yeah Hayson wallace um we i think a lot of us expected him to fall to us but he was taken like a pick or two before i think he no he was taken at 10 by the mavericks and then trade it to OKC. But I think Grady Dick, from everything I'm seeing, is, you know, a suitable replacement from him. Somebody that, you know, provides a real need. Uh, sorry, satisfies a real need for our roster. Because outside of Gary Trent Jr. And Fred Van Vliet, if he returns. Um, OG Ananobi, if he stays on the roster. Uh, Otto Porter Jr., if he stays on the roster and stays healthy. We don't really have much shooters. So... Brady Dick instantly coming on this team. He instantly provides more spacing for us. So guys like Siakam, if he remains on the team, OG, if he remains on the team, have more area, have more space to drive to the basket. Um, so it really makes our offense, you know, not so one-dimensional. At least we now have like more than one threat from outside because I assume Fred is more or less gone. So we do need shooters and good ones at that. But I think this pick was also like an indication of like where, you know, the franchise wants to go and what our new coach, Darko Ryakovich, you know, what he wants to do on offense. Um, a lot more spacing, a lot that to be provided and, you know, more of a free-flowing offense, which I think, you know, um, was something that I've read in an article that, you know, Kansas really did. The Kansas offense was like pass-heavy, pass-heavy free-flowing, so... That's good. It seems, you know, all things are like, like, it's a good sign. You know, it's a good pick from what I could see. Like, I don't really see much fans or like much people, you know, shitting on it or things like that. And with this pick, you know, our, our draft is done for the night unless we trade back into the second round. Um, Only one pick. Um, we Don't have our first round pick next year. So really need to hope that Grady Dick pans out. I, I think he would, Um, you know. Shooting is shooting, and, you know, every team needs a good three-point shooter. Even, like, if he doesn't develop into, like, some all-NBA, like, MVP kind of candidate. I think if he just develops into, like, a good three, like, a great three-point shooter could replicate his success from um from college to the NBA. 
He'd be a great fit on this roster. He does need to get better defense that I've seen. Not to say that he's like he's tall enough, he's long enough. Pause. But like from what I've seen, like he's like a kind of a skinny guy, so I don't think he can like bang bodies with. Oh, I don't think the dick can bang bodies. Fuck nah. I gotta stop. I gotta stop making these puns. I can just imagine like all the puns like the fans and like our commentary team are gonna make. Like you know, we don't have a direction for what's gonna happen next season, but at least that thing is gonna be fun. But yeah. God, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. You know, these are the things that like of these unscripted videos, I don't really do them too much because I'm a big rambler and I lose my train of thought easily. So that's why like I make like the script out my videos and like word for word. I just you know, I'm just trying to go like off the dome right now. Not really working out too well, I guess. But yeah, so even if he just kind of remains a great three-point shooter and doesn't really take much of a step, like develop playmaking, other aspects of his game, gets better on defense, he's still a serviceable NBA player. But yeah, of course, every high draft pick you want, you want them to develop into like an all-star caliber type of player. And I do think he has the potential. Um, he could put on more size, obviously. He got like I think he averaged almost like a steal and a half per game in college. So like the instincts are definitely there, but I don't think he has the physicality in terms of strength and like lateral quickness. Um, it's more than just a three point shooter, from what I've seen. Um, so he's a good scorer. He has decent defensive instinct. He he's like like fucking Gary Trent Jr. Like. Basically, like, you know, Gary Trent Jr. light right now. Like, if you want to give him a comparison. Um, so, having two Gary Trent Juniors on your team, I guess that's a good thing. Let's hope. But, you know, we want him to develop into, like, a very good player. The, you know, fit the timeline with Scotty and with this team. This team doesn't have a timeline right now. But you want him to develop along with Scotty Barnes. You know, best case scenario. And I think really they could do that. But, you know, there's always a chance, you know, it's the NBA draft, progression isn't linear, um, people could mess up scouting reports, whatever. It's always a chance that this could blow up, you know, miraculously in our face and he's a bust. And this sets our franchise back even further, but let's focus on the positives. In closing, Grady Dick, welcome to Toronto. Um, happy to have you on the team. Hope you provide some much needed spacing. Hope to see you develop under our new coach. And hope to see you and Scotty Barnes become, like, the next best duo in the NBA. Like, hope to see you guys turn into, like, Kobe and Shaq or, like, MJ and Scotty Pimpin. High expectations yet, but, you know, a boy can dream. That's basically it. So, yeah, sorry, this video is very rambly. Um, if I tried to script this out, it wasn't going to come out until, like, next week. You know, life gets in the way of a lot of things. Um, but for like the 10 of you that are going to watch this video, let me know if you enjoy these kind of rambling videos or do you just prefer my scripted stuff? Um, probably nobody's going to tell me which they prefer, so I'll leave it up to myself. But enjoy your night. Welcome to Toronto, Grady.